How's it going, guys? Watching Avatar The Last Airbender live adaptation from Netflix. I don't expect it to be as good as the series. There are some things you just can't do in live action. Things you can't convey. Acting you can't replicate in live action like you can't in animation. But I do expect it to be way better than that damn movie. I hope they don't rush things. While at the same time, we still don't need all the whimsical, childlike nonsense, of course. I first saw this show a long time ago because of my son. I saw the episode where Aang became the uh, water spirit or intersected with the water spirit there and uh, beat the Fire Nation back. And I was like, whoa, this is a kid's show. <laughs> And uh, watched the rest of it from there. Uh, had a great story and you really, really liked the characters. But that's enough of that. Let's get into watching the show. I've been waiting for quite a long time for this. Earth would actually kill people. It's not so apparent in the animated show, but Earth just coming up at you and smashing you in the face like that. Or used as millions of little bullets. will be on the Earth Kingdom. All eyes but ours. So this must be Fire Lord Ozai. You, you wanted us to know. We all hit the real target. My sights are set higher. Attack of the Airbenders. Because it is our time. Ooh, that's brutal. Damn. Fire. Since the death of the last Avatar, the new incarnation has yet to emerge. Be ready for the responsibility of becoming the Avatar. <sighs> Eh, the Southern Air Temple, so we're still predating the first episode of the animated hey! series. So they don't even need a glider to fly. Now, you and the other students better go help set up for the Great Comet Festival. There's still a lot of work to be done before the air nomads from the other temples arrive. How many are coming? All of them. All of them. <laughs> the role of the Avatar is a heavy responsibility. Not meant for a child. But it is not our place to choose who bears that burden. And I fear you've grown too close to Aang to see that, Brother Genzo. Aang must leave immediately to begin training in the other bending disciplines. And we can only hope that it is not too late for him to make a difference. Hmm. Hey. You are the Avatar. The Fire Nation is embarked on a dark path. Their actions threaten to throw the world out of balance. Only the Avatar, the one person who can master all four elements, can save the world. The world needs the Avatar. The world needs you, Aang. You're right. Just needs to go over things always make more sense. At least for now. 
Oh, here they come. Remember, no survivors. Send the side. Oh, wow. They can fly with their fire like uh, Azula could. No machines needed to climb up to the air temples. Probably could have dealt without the brothers and sisters part. I know I'm not going to be able to show very much of the fights. But I will say the bending, the looks of the bending and the fighting are on point. Avatar State. You may have prevailed on another night. But not when we have the power of the comet. If the Fire Nation wiped out all the airbenders, wouldn't they be looking in the uh, Water Nation for the next Avatar? If they thought that the Avatar was dead, how do they know that the Avatar is not dead? This must be the Southern Water Tribe Village. Place. See how Katara and Sokka's acting on our ships, but it seems some of you can't be trusted to stay at your posts. Damn. You okay? Oh no, no, no. That's not good. Lucky that thing isn't destroyed. What is that? Huh, weird. Sokka seems good. Katara is, uh. She's alright. In a couple parts where I was like, oh, she's acting, but yeah, forgivable. This has to be Zuko. Ah, oh, they that, that's a nice touch. Got the little idols or whatever over there, little statuettes that glow when he's in the avatar state. When his energy is present. just exploded and left behind a mysterious little bald person. What part of that <laughs> makes you think? Great, let's bring him home. Sokka, he's just a kid. Come on. Where do you think we'll find the Avatar? Yes. Because of the light. You think I'm imagining things? Sometimes light beams are nothing more than celestial glimmers in the winter sky. For three years, I've chased down every hint, every rumor, every whisper of the Avatar. 
and I'll keep doing it for another three years if I have to. Yeah, that's not strange at all. He is an inventor. My sky basin? Six legs, horns, brown arrows, sky bison. Sky bison! Repeating it doesn't help. <laughs> Southern Air Temple. Where the air nomads live? Well, not all the air nomads, but most of them have just arrived for the Great Comet Festival. The Great Comet Festival? Grand Grand? Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. And so the Fire Nation marched and laid waste, plunging us into a... It might just be me, but that was a little bit cringe. Everyone in the village knows this story. I feel like it was forced. Do you, young man? He may seem like just a boy, but he's much more. He is the last airbender. Your skills have never been sharp. You will teach me the advanced set. They say Altar Kyoshi took down an entire squadron of Earth Kingdom soldiers single-handedly. Well, you've certainly prepared enough. Now, how about a nice cup of jasmine tea? <laughs> Finding balance can feel the energy. So he helps her with her water bending. I am Prince Zuko, firstborn son of Fire Lord Ozai. We have no desire to take your home. We merely seek someone who does not belong here. Someone who is not one of you. Turn him over now, or I'll burn this place to the ground. I am Sokka, son of Akoda, lord of uh, snow and ice. On behalf of the water <laughs> tribe village of Wolf Cove, I demand that you leave immediately. If this is the path you've chosen, and so be it. Let's sell this between us. Leader to leader. Who needs an army now? <laughs> imagine this day would ever come, myself included. Can I ask you something? Uh... Forgive me. I'm Iroh, son of Fire Lord Azulo. And of course. Why did the Fire Nation start? Fire Lord. Ah. Some people Who? say it is within our nature to expand and consume like fire itself. Others believe that true stability in this world can only happen under our rule. So the drive to conquer is a drive for peace and unity. But peace comes from respecting life, not killing and destroying. A noble sentiment, Avatar. But in the end, for most of us, it doesn't matter how this war started. It only matters how it can end. And the belief is that by capturing you, 
the Fire Nation can finally bring that about. Is that what you believe? I must leave. But I look forward to many more conversations with you, Avatar. In the meantime, I'll have some jasmine tea sent to you. It's quite soothing. <laughs> Nice airbender trick. Hmm. Zuko's room. The avatars. shot. He's smiling weirdly. Pretty sure his arm would have separated from his body right there. Could have killed them. Flying debris. The thing about losing everything is that that's when you learn how strong you really are. It's when you learn to fight. Huh. It's only after we've lost something that we realize how much it means to us. True. A lot of times. How we do anything to get it back. Well, overall, I thought it was good. The effects are very nice. Zuko's actor is good. Iroh's actor is good. Sokka's actor is good. Gran Gran was probably the weakest actress. Uh, Katara was hit and miss. There were times where, especially when she was like, uh, oh, what did she say? She bent down to him after he created the tornado or whatever and was like, uh, sometimes when we lose everything, or he was like, when we lose everything, that's when we fight the hardest or something. That whole exchange there was, like I said before this episode started, it's not going to live up to the animated series and I don't expect it to. Uh, it has to be looked at as its own its own thing um, and appreciated for being separate from the actual uh, animated series. Um, no complaints really other than the ones I just espoused. <laughs> I'm looking forward to episode two and uh, I'll probably just watch that tomorrow. Because I have some work to do. If you're new to the channel, I uh, just started doing this pretty much as a hobby. And because uh, I want to learn how to edit videos. So it's some practice. All I really have is Game of Thrones right now on my channel. And uh, House of the Dragon, which I will be doing House of the Dragon Season 2 when that starts up. I think it was in the summertime this year. I generally, I think, put out two episodes a week, sometimes three of just whatever. So, uh, 
if you're interested, subscribe. Uh, I'd like to get to a thousand subscribers at some point relatively soon so that YouTube will start giving me a little bit of money for all of the hours that I spend editing these videos. It would make it feel like it's a little more worthwhile. But, but thanks for joining me in this episode, and I hope to see you guys in the next video that I make. Take care.